Right, so uh, today I've got with me uh, Jonathan Parker. I'm Gerard Toplis, I'm the Chief Exec, and we've got our Head of Construction, Jonathan Parker, with uh, me today. And we're going to talk a little bit about the refit and refurbishment framework, which you've sort of put together, I think, Jonathan. Yeah. Okay, so just let's maybe sort of explain a little bit about how we've structured this particular framework. Okay, so this framework's a second reiteration uh, of the framework. So like we always do, we try and make positive changes, look at the market, how it's structured, what's worked, what's not, before we, we progress through. So we've done lots of engagement to get to where the framework is at now, uh, which has gone live. Uh, and then currently what we're doing is uh, obviously then doing the mobilization sessions and everything else. But the framework's structured to be fully SME inclusive, so where we've had it on the previous version, we've had 10 uh, contractors on the framework. We've now moved to a, a situation we've got eight in the core and then four in reserve uh, with a sliding scale of all the SMEs reserve spots for them as well. So Because it's gone up then? It's gone up from 10 to 12? It has, yeah. Okay. So when we, when we assessed it, we had a look at what was working in competition well, was, what wasn't. Uh, we thought an eight and 12, eight and four, given a total of 12 in the current climate, uh, as things are getting very, very, very busy, very fast, gives us more surety and gives the clients more competitive tension. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's quite an interesting one that because we're going to probably see with government funding over the next couple of years, a move to a lot more refurbishments yep. and repair with decarbonisation and different themes the government is trying to put in. So I guess uh, having that increase does protect the clients as well as gives a, uh, the more suppliers opportunity. Is that it does, to say? yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, yeah, it just makes it, when, we, when we're doing competitions, which we'll come on to and, and direct towards, it just gives us more scope and more, more confidence for the client, basically. Okay. Do, you mentioned at the beginning, it's the second iteration. So yeah. was the first version, was that very successful? It was, yeah. So how it works with, uh, with frameworks is, uh, when you're moving into a market, obviously Pagamba's got a very good brand within the, in the construction sector. But when you're moving into a new market like refurbishments, uh, it's about getting that, that momentum moving and getting that clients and going on board because yeah. uh, it's a different client team uh, in, within the public sector body. So it's different teams looking at different aspects. So we've got a lot of themes going through. Uh, the framework did about £180 million pounds, uh, on the previous version, okay. which, which is uh, pretty good in considering its first reiteration.